you like something? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. stay right there. I was right in the tree. Let's get in the car. Come on. Oh, no, 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 talk to me. Let's get in this car. I guess I found it. I found it. Okay, okay, let's just get in the car. Get out of here. So, Daddy, what are we going to do? Let's offer Ted, but the answer is still no. I already told you why. I'm burned out on everything, on advertising, L.A. <laughs> You're not listening, Deb. What do I know about antiques? I've only been collecting them for the past decade. Mom, look out! Uh, uh. Um, look, I, uh, I can't talk right now. I'll call you back as soon as I get settled, okay? Okay, bye. Whew. We're almost there, Josh. Would you turn that down, please? Josh! What's your problem? I'm trying to talk to you. So talk. Have you read any of the books on your reading list like I asked you to? School doesn't start until next week, Mom. It wouldn't hurt to be prepared, is all. I mean, look, it's gonna be an adjustment, okay? Being the new kid in school... You're missing your exit.
Christmas right around the corner, and now you want to welcome nature's version of a mess and cloud? Yeah, I can't believe it. That's going to happen. Town council voted in favor of the Bears two months ago. 55% in favor. As far as yeah. I'm concerned, this is a dead issue. Those Bears get loose. The only dead issues around here are going to be our profits. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The issue here is not about grizzlies. It's about Pine Lake. When the government came knocking, I was skeptical too. Relocate a family of bears to the center of town. Where's the reward in that? Where's the profit? We make our living on tourists. If you want to bring the tourists back, you've got to bring the pride back. This is a community, not a corporation like Las Vegas. We have always put the environment first, and I say it is no time to stop now. Where's your point? Sometimes the profit comes from in here. Now I want you all to go back to your homes, and let's show the world that Pine Lake is back. Yeah, let's go. Come on now. All right, time to go. Break it up. Take it easy. Clear. Well, that was very deftly handled. You still think we can control this? They're like sheep, son. That's not what I asked you. What happens if something goes wrong? We are what goes wrong. In three days' time, those bears will be dead, and you and I will be very, very rich. Small town celebration. I have a good feeling about this place. Hi, how are you? Go home! 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 Go Okay, break it up. Oh, okay, Josh, I see a ranger over there. Stay inside. Go home. Go home. Go home. Everybody be quiet. Thank you very much. Quiet now. What's going on here? Well, there seems to be some confusion. Are you with the convoy? The what? The bears. A new tourist attraction. Ranger Bradford, is it? This is my first day in town. I just bought the antique store down the road. Oh, yeah. He must be the new city gal. I'm Frank Bradford. City gal. Right. Um, could you just move these people along and we'll be on our way? Sure. Yeah, Sanchez, Phillips, come on, send him home. Allow this woman to get on her way, please, okay? Come on, break it up. Get away from the truck. Come on. There you go. That's it. Excuse me. Did he just call me ma'am? Wild 
control. Hey, I'm Terry. Come on now, don't be rude. A week from now and you'll be begging for my attention. I'm Josh. So, what do you think of our town, Josh? Pretty bogus if you ask me. So far we've been attacked by the lynch mob back there and this park ranger was stalking my mom. Yeah? He's a total yeah. loser. He is a handful. So what's your story? No, 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 wait. Let me guess. Big city kid, never been that close to nature, who dreads the thought of life in a small town. Wow. It must be really great to be so smart. Josh? Well, I got a jet. I'll, uh... See you later, Josh. a year for this? I don't know. It's not as bad as it looks. An antique store. More like an organized garage sale. You obey that stop sign, kid. me four hundred dollars to have that windshield glared. I'm sorry. You're sorry? That's not gonna get it. You got seven hundred dollars? You just said four. That's before the cost of the windshield plus installation. Let's go see your mother. Come Wait, on. no. Look, um, I've got two hundred in my savings. Well, you're a little short, kid. Look, I I'll do anything. Anything you want. Just please don't call her. Look, I didn't mean it. Please. Now, uh, maybe there is something you can do. Put your bike in the back of the truck. Come on, let's go. Oh. 
You run this place? I do. Just me and my assistant and three bears. What's wrong with her? I don't know. She's got something wrong with her jaw. Come on. Let's get to work. Grab that top sack of feed here, would you? There you go. Now set the bag on the table over here, would you? Wow. Josh, meet Bart and Ellen. Oh, they are so cute. Aren't they? What's that stuff? Well, it's a combination of herbs, roots, and berries. It contains a high-energy protein, much better than the commercial stuff. Yeah? Oh, they look so hungry. They eat about 4,600 calories a day. Wow. What are those tags for? Oh, those are radio tags. We put them on all the nuisance bears. Here, I'll show you. Works in conjunction with the GPS tracking device. That's what this is. And this is the clip that goes on the bear's ear. Yeah. Yeah. We do that so we can monitor their behavior and activity out in the wild. I'm going to take hers off as soon as I can find out what's wrong with your jaw. So what makes a nuisance bear? Well, bears that uh, wander aimlessly and recklessly into areas occupied by humans. Now, they're part of a federal relocation program. It's all very experimental. Uh, kind of like a witness relocation for bears. You know, something like that. Most zoos in the United States are overstocked, Josh. And after a nationwide search, Pine Lake was selected to house them. It was either that or uh, have them controlled. You mean like killed? That's right. <laughs> oh, thanks! <laughs> you better go get your assistant to clean this up. Oh, he's here. Me? That's right, Josh. You. Here's the deal. I'm gonna need some help feeding the bears and training them and cleaning up around here, okay? So after school, you come in and you work off the windshield. Job pays six dollars an hour. Six bucks. Six bucks. Hey, look. It beats the alternative. Your mother. It's a big responsibility. Are you sure you're up to it? Yeah. I can handle it. You need a ride home? No, no, I just live right down the street, thanks. See you tomorrow. See ya. Who said you could get a job? What, is this another crusade? 
You know, last year it was the rainforest, and the year before that the spotted owl. Your grades went right down the tubes. I know where this is headed, Josh. Look, Mom, if this is about school... You I'm are darned right this is about school. Now you are going to march over there tomorrow and tell them you're quitting. Mom! Besides, I need your help around here. Yeah, and I need a real job, okay? Not this antique garbage. I am not a kid, okay? And stop acting like one! And when I say I want you home at 5, I do not mean 8.30! What are you doing here? Chill out, Daniel Boone. I'm just scoping out the place for my dad. Your dad? Yeah, you know, the stalker. <gasps> oh, yeah, I'm sorry I called him a loser. Hey, no sweat. Besides, I guess he does get a little goofy when he gets the hots for someone. Jeez, haven't you had enough bears for one day? <laughs> my dad says you're like practically his indentured servant. They don't belong here, Terry. I don't know. They'll be waited on hand and foot. They won't have to hunt for food. Think of it kind of like a spa. A spa? Oh, that's real fresh. I mean, these are wild animals, Terry, hence the word wild. Whoa, whoa. You know, my dad loves the environment just as much as you do. He only wants to protect the bears. That cage is the only thing keeping them alive. Take a look at this. I saw the bear rubbing her face against the cage, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then I read it here that the bears sometimes do that when they have a sore or broken tooth, and when it gets infected, they could die in the wilderness. So zoologists often prescribe E-C-H-I-N... Echinacea, yeah. My dad takes it for colds. Whatever. All I know is they give it to him wrapped in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to cure the infection. That might be why the bear's so angry. <laughs> well, I'd think twice before trying to help her floss. <laughs> Besides, my dad is an expert on grizzlies. He would know if all she had was a toothache. That's your dad? Hey, it's cool. My parents are divorced, too. They're not divorced. My dad's dead. Somebody shot him last year. For real? I mean, I'm sorry. I never knew anybody who got shot before. Except when Earl Akins accidentally shot his cousin in the foot on a hunting trip. <laughs> it was great. Is that supposed to be funny? Because it's not. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Well, that's cool. I was just making sure that, you know, you aren't getting all soft on me or anything. I'll see you later. Shoot you first and ask questions later. Comprende? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. See, no harm done, Earl. I think you better be on your way, kid. Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
you think he overheard us? Who cares? He's just a punk kid. Let me see that thing again. Hey, buddy. I'm standing in front of a newly erected mobile command post in the town of Pine Lake, where late last night a female grizzly escaped from her compound. Now what we know so far is one casualty has been reported. Hey, Mayor, how could this have happened? Doing everything we can, Billy. You told us we'd all be safe. Look, I don't know how this happened, but you have my word. We're going to do everything to make sure we get to the bottom of it. Right now, more important that we focus our efforts on finding that runaway bear. The important thing, folks, is to remain calm. Oh, yeah. Is that before or after we end up like Dale? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. 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 Earl, the worst thing you could do is panic. You want to see panic? Wait till all the shops start closing, because there's no customers, because they've been run off by killer bears! Yeah. yeah! That's not going to happen. How you doing, Jack? Good to see you. Everybody would like to introduce Jack Buck. He's from the Department of Fish and Game's Wildlife Recovery Program. Just drove in from Wyoming to personally oversee the recapture of this bear. Now look, I know everybody's concerned about this, but everybody should go back to their homes right now, including you, Earl. And don't worry, I guarantee you we're gonna find that bear before anybody else gets hurt. Now come on, let's go. Earl, come on. Move. Grizzly bear is the largest, most dangerous predator in the United States. You are about to enter her domain where she has all the tactical advantages, and I mean all of them. You make a mistake, you're dead. So simple rules. You don't go in alone. Make a lot of noise. Let this bear know you're there. If you come in contact with the bear, do not make direct eye contact. This can be construed as a threat. And above all, do not run. These animals can run a 100-yard dash in 4.3 seconds. You will lose that race. If you are attacked by this bear, you do three things. Drop to the ground immediately. Go into a fetal position and place both hands like this around your neck. If you want to live, you just may have to play dead. Okay, partner up. Good luck. I'll see you out there. All right. 
Then what happened? I already told you. I went back to get my disc man. What do we got here? Uh, this is the kid we think let the bear out. I did not let the bear out. Jeez, Frank, ask Dale. Uh, Josh, Dale's in critical condition. All we could get from him was you're the last person he saw. Now think, is it possible you could have hit the switch near the gate? Frank, I didn't touch the cage, okay? You've got to listen to me. The bear, she's not herself. It's her tooth, okay? I saw it on the internet last night. Uh, slow, slow down just a second now. What are you talking about? The rubbing of the bars, Frank. The sore tooth. She's sick and she's scared. And toothaches and infections, they can cause a grizzly to attack. Josh? Mom! Oh, God. Are you okay? Mom, these guys won't believe me. Are you okay? Yes. What do you want with my son? You know, Josh was my assistant at the compound. Somewhere in the middle of the night, the grizzly got loose and mauled the night watchman. Josh was the last one seen there. Mom, it's not my fault. Please, you gotta believe me. We've got a sighting on Main Street. Repeat, the grizzly's heading west on Main. All right, Pat, let's wrap it up. Let's go. Right. I told you, Mom, I didn't do anything. You could have gotten yourself killed. This is our first week in town. I didn't ask you to move here, all right? Josh, everything that I did, I did for us. Like, this whole outdoors and, and this camping thing. You used to love this. The camping thing, Mom? The camping thing was our thing. Me and Dad. And now he's dead. And every time that I see an aspen glow at sunset or a mountain lake in the morning, I think of him. And I hate this place, Mom. not leave the house until I come back. Where are you going? Well, first, I'm going to go give that Frank Bradford a piece of my mind. And then, in case you've forgotten, there's a grizzly bear running loose. Someone has to fix this mess. she's a nuisance bear. I'm simply gonna go out there and I'm gonna lure her back to town with the scent of her cubs. Josh! You know what? You stay out of my way and don't try to stop me, all right? Josh! Josh, that bear is gonna rip you to shreds. Look, I know it sounds stupid, all right? But if I leave these sandwiches around and the bear eats enough echinacea, it might cure her. And then they won't have to kill her.
Oh, stand, stand. Look, guys, I need to borrow your blanket, all right? I'm gonna go get your mom for you. Don't worry, okay? Be good, okay? Be good. at your disposal? Oh, I'd say 11 to 12 active, maybe another five or six if I dip into my support staff. I've got a tracker on the bear. I sent Phillips over to get it. It's not there. The GPS what? tracker. I, I looked everywhere. Oh, come on, Ronnie, go back. It is there. Look harder. Come on, I need that. Come on, Frank. Yeah, thanks. Do you have any campgrounds in the immediate vicinity? There's several, actually. Well, where there's food, there's bound to be bears. I suggest we shut them down, Frank. That's a good idea. Why did you have to put my son in danger? Excuse me? My son Josh, you have him working with grizzly bears. Yes, I did. He broke the window to my truck and I gave him a chance to work it off. Here you go, Pat. Without checking with me first. Uh, Miss... Harding. Harding. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not a very good time for me right now, if you'll excuse me. Jack, can I see you in here? I'm not done talking to you! Johnny, pull the map for a little second. I thought you said you could control this. Just relax, Sam. Just relax? Indiana Jones just shows up, and you expect me to relax? Jack Buck is a minor inconvenience. Yeah, it's gonna be really inconvenient if he gets to that bear first. Nobody knows these mountains better than Earl and I. We've got enough firepower to kill ten bears. I don't care about ten bears. I care about one bear. I should have had my head examined for agreeing to this. Need I remind you that it was you that came to me with this? I need $2 million for a strip mall. And I delivered the Golden Goose, a federally funded program with readily insurable assets. Three homeless bears. When the bears are dead, we collect the insurance money. It'll work just fine, Sam. For both of our sakes, you better hope so. Pine Lake vicinity are closed until further notice. This is a general alert. All campgrounds in the Pine Lake vicinity are closed until further notice. State police has been notified, Stan. That's correct. No, no, no. Tell them all the roads leading into the campgrounds have been closed off. That's right. The CHP is rerouting all surface traffic through Lake Arrowhead. Mr. Bradford? Josh is gone. Well, hold on, Stan. What do you mean? He's run away to find the bear, I think. Stan, hold by the phone. I'll call you right back. 
All right, start from the beginning. You don't know how Josh is. He gets something in his head and there's no stopping him. You gotta put out an APB. I can't do that. Technically, they have to be missing for at least 24 hours. Don't give me this letter of the law garbage. He's just a boy. He lost his father a year ago. He's, he's alone, he's confused, and, and he certainly cannot survive out here with a wild bear running loose. Frank, it's Jack Buck. Yeah, thanks. Excuse me. Yeah, go, Jack. Frank. I'm by the trailhead at the entrance to Holcomb Valley. She's been here all right. Six, maybe seven hours. I'm proceeding east towards a ridge. What about Josh? Look, I'll call around to see if anybody's seen. I'll forget it. I'll find it myself. Jack, let me call you right back, okay? Stay right there. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. My son is out there, I'm going to get him. Look, this isn't some L.A. suburban garden party you danced into, there's a killer bear out here. That's why I'm going. Dork. What, are you, what are you doing here? I'm following you, obviously. I thought you were a bear. I know. I smell your fear. Hope you brought a change of underwear in that bag. <laughs> Very funny. How about a few words for our studio audience? Did you get that stupid thing out of my face? How'd you find me anyway? Tip number one, when running away from home, never leave a map behind. You know what? You can turn around and go right back to where you came from because I don't need your help. The greatest adventure of my short and shallow life? Get real! This is the first time anything exciting has ever happened around here, and I've got the exclusive. Partners? No. Ring! Hello, Mrs. Harding. I could be mistaken, but I do believe I just spotted your son hiking over by Rocky Peak. You wouldn't. Would you? Fine, fine. You can come, but if you fall behind, you're on your own. Yo, mountain man, get over yourself already. Up. Look, I'm sorry if I was abrupt with you back there, but with everything that's been going on, I feel like I'm running around with my head cut off. That's a good look for you. Are you always this tough? I ran a multi-million dollar advertising firm. I can sure as hell handle some toy town hobby cop. Hey, just a second here. I just want you to know there's other people's lives at stake other than your son's. And whatever it is you feel about me, well, that's your business, certainly. But I care about the people of this town. Now, if your son is out there, I promise you, I will do everything I can to get him back. Then please do it. Well, it'd make my job a lot easier if I didn't have to worry about you as well. Frank, come in. Excuse me. Frank here. 
There's been an attack. Over. I'm an hour south on Spit Rock Trail. The bear's heading north. I'll be shooting for Eagle Ridge by nightfall. That's good, Jack. Do me a favor. Keep your eyes peeled for a 16-year-old boy. I think he's out there looking for the bear as well. You bet. Thank you. All right, everybody, listen up. I want to put an APB out on the Josh Harding. H-A-R-D-I-N-G, okay? I want you to check every backyard, trailhead, and campsite in this area. We work all night if we have to. Mike, I want you to call a helicopter, have him do a complete search of the lake. Okay, come on, let's go. Move, move, move. Sanchez, do me a favor. Go by my house, check on my daughter, make sure she stays there. Okay, come you got on. it. Good. Wait, is that my dad's super secret bear finder? Ah, the signal's faded. You know, it's probably these canyon walls. My dad says planes have the same problem when they fly overhead. Hey, look. Yep, she's been here, all right. That is so gross. How can you tell? Trust me, I've had a crash course in this stuff. I'm not into bears? Right. Come on, according to the map, they're only a few miles away. We are live with The Terry Show, and our next guest is the wily and elusive Josh Harding, who is currently on the trail of a ferocious grizzly. Would you please hurry up? I want to get to the next campsite before it's dark. Oh, well, that ridge ends in a dead end. It's not what the map says. Well, I know. It washed out last spring. I give you five minutes. You're going to have to turn back. Come on. We can take a detour through that canyon. Admit it. Admit what? <laughs> what? That you need me. You've got the tools, but I've got the brains. And you know what they say. You can never pay enough for good information. So why do you carry that stupid thing? Ain't you duh? I mean, isn't it obvious? I want to have my own talk show someday. <laughs> you're nobody unless you're on TV. How come you're so into bears? I'm not into bears. I didn't know anything about them until yesterday. And how come you care so much? My dad, I guess. He used to take me hunting and camping and backpacking. And he taught me how to survive on my own. Wait. I hope he taught you how to fish. Why? Because if I don't eat soon, you're going to have to carry me. Oh, I don't see a river on this map. <sighs> Did you forget the map? I know a place nearby. Come on, I'll race you. <laughs> Come on! Okay. Jack, come in. Jack. I read you. Yeah, what's your 20? 
I'm a half mile from Holcomb. I picked up the bear's trail about an hour ago. I had to ditch a truck. Roger that. Any word on the boy? No, but I wouldn't worry. He'll turn up, I'm certain of it. Yeah, thanks. You know, you don't look so hot. You're right about one thing. This is definitely not L.A. I feel so out of place up here. Oh, well, look, that's understandable. You a lot of changes in your life. A new home, your business. <laughs> my business. Don't remind me. You know what my big sale was yesterday? What? A set of coasters for $4.50. At this rate, I'm going to make my next mortgage payment in, like, 2006. Well, it takes a while to build a business. You know, Rachel, you really shouldn't be so tough on yourself. You know, after Josh's father died, I thought that moving up here would be good for him. Now I'm not so sure. Well, look, it's been a long day. Uh, why don't you get some rest? I can't. What if he calls? Oh, well, I'll put him right through to you. Come on. Wait up. There you go. Get some rest. Don't worry about anything. Everything's gonna be okay. If he calls, I'll wake you up. Where's that tunnel go? Oh, nowhere. It dead ends at about 50 yards. That was actually the main entrance to the place. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Sure. How did it happen? I mean, with your dad. Hey, look, it's okay if you don't want to talk about it. I completely understand. Oh, no, there's, there's not much to talk about, really. I mean, a couple guys were robbing a bank, and... My dad's car was the first one on the scene, and when they went and grabbed for the hostages, he was in the way. He probably should have called for backup, but that was my dad, you know? He was always too tough for all that kind of stuff. I was at school when it happened, and I remember when I got off the bus at home, my mom was already outside waiting for me. I don't know how I knew that he was dead. him a lot. Yeah. Especially out here, you know? I mean, my dad always told me that, that the earth had a pulse. And if you listen really, really hard, you, you could hear its heartbeat. I used to listen every once in a while, you know, just to see if I could maybe hear it. I ever heard was my dad's voice in my head. <laughs> I know it sounds totally crazy. No. No, no, no. I think it actually sounds pretty cool. I wish my mom thought so. Ever since then, she just hovers over me, you know? Afraid that if she turns her back, I might do something stupid? Like, I don't know. Go chasing after a grizzly bear.
be worried sick. I guess you're right. Nobody's home. <laughs> She's probably got half the town out looking for me. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let me call my dad. That way, maybe you can drive by your place and tell your mom that you're okay. Okay. Hello? All right, just a minute. You got a phone call, sir. It's your daughter. Oh, uh, uh, just tell her I'll call her back. Uh, sir? She's with the boy. She's with Josh. What? Uh, put it on that phone right over there. You got it. Thanks, Mom. Rachel. Who? Wake up. That's Josh. What? You're on. Jerry? Hi, Daddy. Honey, why aren't you home? Where are you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. So is Josh. <sighs> are we in trouble? I thought I told you to stay home. I'm, look, I'm glad you're safe, but... Wait, Dad. Would you listen? Dad, wait, just... We've been looking for this boy all day and all night. His mother's here. Put him on the phone. Okay. All right, hold on. Oh, Josh? Here. Hello? Josh? Mom. Oh, thank heaven you're alive. Mom, I'm fine. Jeez, calm down. Honey, half the town is looking for you. Look! Look, look! Josh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Josh? Go kill it! I hate those things. Josh? It's just a rat. No, Mom, Mom, I'm fine. It's just a rat. Yes, it's gone. Look, Mom, you have to bear with me. I'm trying to lure the bear back to the compound. Don't be ridiculous. Josh, where are you? Where are we? We're at the old Johnson mine. Tell me. We're, we're at the old Johnson mine. Terry, get out of there right now. Josh, do you hear me? Move it right now. What's the matter? and pal get the shotguns and load them up in the truck. We're moving out. Let's go. This is it, guys.
Frank, come in. Frank here, go. I got Josh and Terry here. They're a little bit scared, but they're okay. God bless you. Good work, Jack. I'll be bringing them in. We'll be here waiting. Thanks a lot. Rachel! She took off. Gotta be stuff I'm taking you back to town. When you're through, why don't you come on back and give us a hand? Be just like old times. Go home, Harley. That's a long time to hold a grudge. It was just a mountain lion. Not just a mountain lion, the last of its kind. Never to walk this earth again. And I led you right to him. If I know you, the barrel end up the same way. Extinct. <laughs> Suit yourself. We're gonna kill that bear with or without your help. Get it, do you? If we don't save that bear, those guys are gonna kill her, Terry. Earth to Josh. We were like this close to being a happy meal for that thing. I say it's better her than us at this point. Look what I just found. The nearest ranger station is here. Here's where we are. Okay. Okay, so your dad said that the bears are part of a federal relocation program, right? Yeah, so? So three miles from here is the Sierra National Forest. Federal land. If we can lure the bear over there, then she's protected while we can go get help. <laughs> That's if we can catch her. Come on, we're leaving. Terry, listen to me, please. I need your help. Please. Under one condition. That when this thing is all over, I get the exclusive. Deal? Sorry, Daddy. Well, at least you're okay. Does that mean I'm grounded? Well, we're gonna talk about that later. And as for you, Josh, you put a scare into this entire town. Not to mention your mother. I'm sorry. Look, look where is she? Well, that's just it. I've been trying to get a hold of her for the last two hours. Oh, I should probably go home. No, you don't. No, you don't. I told her if I found you, I wouldn't let you out of my sight. Have a seat. Any luck with the bear? Hello, we missed. I'll put a search pattern out there to get to the bear before Harlan does. Yeah. Josh, let's go try to find your mom. You stay here. she could be? No, not unless she's still out looking for me. What's with that? Oh, uh, is that your dad? Yeah. Your mother told me what happened. I'm sorry, it must have been. You like my mother, don't you? Oh, what's that? It's all right. Terry told me. Oh, Terry told you. Yeah. Well, now, uh, look. Maybe we should get going. Why don't you go write your mother a note and let her know where you are?
your mom? She wasn't back at the house. No. It's just not like her to disappear like that. Maybe some of your bad habits are rubbing off on her, huh? <laughs> this isn't funny, Terry. I'm really worried about her. I mean, I've never had a problem being able to get a hold of her and... Wait a minute. What? Her cell phone. She always carries her cell phone. I'll just call her, that's it. Hello? Mom! Josh, where are you? Are you okay? Oh, Mom, I I'm fine. I'm back at the command tent. Where have you been? I've been going out of my mind. Mom, I am so sorry I ran away. Um, okay, just uh, stay where you are. I'm, I'm leaving now. Okay. Okay, bye, Mom. What? She's okay. <laughs> She's coming to get me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Terry. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Night, Josh. Someday, aren't you? Have you, uh, have you seen my mom? No. I thought she said she was coming to pick you up. Where could she be? Look, I'm sure she's okay. Mom, is that you? Mom, are, are you okay? I think my leg is broken. Is Frank there with you? 
No, no, Mom. He, he's out looking for the bear somewhere around here. Are, are you okay? Talk to me. Okay. It's important that you tell him. Tell him what, Mom? Stupid fool. Talk to me, Mom. Josh? Mom? Josh, tell him I'm trapped in the mine. Hello? Mom! <laughs> Josh! Oh, I'm lost. All right, try it again. Josh! <gasps> Oh, oh, Josh! Josh, look, you have to calm down. Now stop and think. Where could she be? I don't know, Terry. I mean, this is my mother we're talking about. She could be anywhere right now. God, I'm so stupid. No, oh, you're not. That's it. What? The dripping. The dripping in the mine. She's in the mine. Come on. Oh. I think she's getting ready to hibernate, stockpiling food for long months ahead. Well, that would explain why she's come back for the cubs. But you mean she's holding up somewhere? Yeah, but where? Frank, Jack. My mom is in the old line. What? Please listen to listen me. Listen to me. I just talked to my mom. Her leg is broken. Wait a minute. The abandoned mine is a good-sized chamber, hidden, secure, the perfect environment for hibernation. Yeah. What are you saying? Th that my mom is in the bear's den? Frank, let's go. Oh, Come just on. Just a second. Hold on just a second here, Josh. Come here. I promise I'll do everything I can to help your mother, but I want you to stay here. Pal, come here. I want you to watch these two make sure they don't leave base camp. That goes for you, too. You understand me? Frank! Come on. This is my mother! This is not fair! I know. What are you thinking? I want to go help! What you Frank, do you mind if we use your truck? No, no, absolutely. I think we might need reinforcements to lure her out. I want you to stay put. Hmm? Pow. This is so unfair. Look, there's nothing we can do, Josh. Find him first. We can't let that happen. Just in case. Yeah, it's a good idea. What the hell is that? Dad? Oh, Terry. You're not taking me back without my mother. Frank. We may not have much time. They'll be safe in a truck. Let's just get there. All right. Talk to you later.
Hold on, hold on. I got an idea. This bear is finished, my friend. Once and for all. A proper burial. <laughs> now listen, I want you to go up high, set it up there. All right. Truck. Sure is. Got a visitor here, Jack. Come on, let's go, Frank. No, no, sit right where you are. Why? What? You heard me. That is so not fair. Both of you stay right here. Promise me. Promise, Daddy. What are we supposed to do? Your dad did say stay in the truck, right?
Harlan and Earl. What the hell was that? Finally took care of that nuisance bear. You idiot. We have reason to believe there's someone in that cave. Hey, I had nothing to do with it. Shut up, boy. Josh, come with me. Terry, stay in the car. Jack, stay by your radio.
You okay, Mom? I'm okay. Look, I'm sorry, and if you need anything, anything at all. I may need you to help me run the store for a little while until I'm back 100%. Can you manage that? Sure. I don't know about you two, but I could sure use a vacation. What's going to happen to them? Oh, my guess is they'll be tried for attempted murder. We've already arrested the mayor who was behind the whole thing. Well, let's get you in. Let's go. See the abscess? Way back there. Oh, yeah. Josh, come here a minute. Well, it seems you were right about our friend here. Abscess is so far back in our mouth, we might have missed it if it hadn't been for one of your peanut butter sandwiches stuck up on our gums. But old Buck here gave her a penicillin shot. I think she's gonna be okay now. So what's gonna happen to her? Oh, well, uh... That's kind of hard to say. Uh, you know, the Department of Fish and Wildlife isn't going to tolerate a nuisance bear here, Josh. I mean, not after three attacks. My guess is they'll put her down. The cubs will come back to the compound with me. Uh, Buck, could I have a word with you for a minute, please? Well, Terry, it all started when I moved to Pine Lake. Nice people, beautiful scenery, and one wild grizzly. <laughs>
Love me.